It is the highest grossing movie of the season in India. In only four weeks, the Kashmir Files has earned 30 million euros. This film tells the story of the Kashmir Pandits, Hindus from Kashmir, who were executed and pushed out of the state by Islamic militants in the 1990s. Outside the cinema, the audience is delighted. It has been done very late, 30 years late. I think uh, Bollywood, Bollywood uh, doesn't have that guts to make such kind of films. Hats off to him for showing the facts. The film recounts a really difficult part of India's recent history. It has been unleashing strong emotions in the country. Hindu nationalists have overtly threatened Muslims in cinemas. <laughs> The movie has been promoted by the BJP, the Hindu Nationalist Party of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Anas Siddiqui is a Supreme Court lawyer. He has been denouncing many historical inaccuracies in the film. This is the government response. This is the MHA response where it says 219 Kashmiris were killed. The movie makes, gives a number around 1700. To exaggerate that those numbers and to pin the blame on one community, it is merely a propaganda to bring in more violence against Indian Muslims, not just Kashmiri Muslims, but Indian Muslims in general. About 90,000 Kashmiri Hindus have fled the region since the 1990s. Sanjay Ko, who was 22 at the time, is one of them. After seeing the movie, he wants to tell people that the Muslims who made him flee his homeland were only a minority. It was a Hindu-Muslim, there was a divide. Muslims forced Kashmiri Hindus to leave. I'm not saying all Muslims. I'm saying those who were involved in that. Like basically, Kashmir is lost in politics. Paradise is lost in politics. And every politician is to be blamed for it. The release of this film is not going to appease an already tense relationship between the Kashmir Valley and New Delhi. The film has already been criticized by several Muslim leaders in the region.